Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a horizontal text scroll effect in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a horizontal text scroll effect in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor. So, this is my first demo video, and this is my second demo video. And the first thing which we will do is we will add a sprite object in the timeline. So go to add object and then click on sprite and now click on OK. Now mark your sprite object wherever you want your text to scroll on screen. So let's say I want my text to scroll at this particular position on screen. So accordingly, I've marked my sprite object in this particular position. Now resize your sprite object so that it fits the screen properly like this. And what we will do next is we will decrease the opacity of the sprite object by 50%. So click on your sprite object and then click on this particular option which is more tools. And right here you will find the opacity option which is currently set to full 100%. So decrease the opacity of the sprite object from 100 to 50. Perfect. Now click on the sprite object once again and look inside the sprite object settings which is present inside the properties window. Users container is set to no so that's fine. Show effects is set to no so change this from no to yes. Fill background is set to yes so that's fine and color is set to black so that's fine as well. Now double click on the sprite object and what we will do next is we will add a fade in effect and a fade out effect inside the sprite object. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and then click on OK. And once again go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade out and then click on OK. Perfect. Now let's go back to the main editing timeline. and. What we will do next is we will add our text on screen. So click on your sprite object and as you can see the duration of my sprite object is 23 seconds for 66 milliseconds. So the text which I'm going to add on screen its duration will be 21 seconds for 66 milliseconds meaning 2 seconds less than that of my sprite object. So First, place your cursor at one second in the timeline. Right about here. And now what you need to do is you need to go to add object and then go to text, click on text and click on OK. Now mark your text object inside the sprite object like this. Perfect. Now write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say, please like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now let me just change the font of my text from Arial to Montserrat Black. Let me also center align my text by going to Paragraph and then selecting Center. And once again going to Paragraph and then selecting Center Align. Let me also increase the text size from 60 pixels to somewhere around let's say 130 pixels. All right, this looks fine. Now I need to decrease the duration of my text object. Oops, just a second. Let me just quickly undo. Now I need to decrease the duration of my text object. So as I said before, the duration of my sprite object is 23 seconds for 66 milliseconds. So the duration of my text object will be 21 seconds for 66 milliseconds, meaning two seconds less than that of my sprite object. 
so currently the duration of my text object is 22 seconds for 66 milliseconds so let me just decrease it by one second perfect all right now what i would like to do next is i would like to resize my text box so that it properly fits my sprite object and I would like to extend my text box so that my entire text is clearly visible. Perfect. And now as you can see, my entire text is clearly visible. Now, what you need to do next is you need to place your text box outside the screen like this perfect so let me just quickly zoom out my screen so right here is the zoom scale so let me just zoom out and as you can see I've placed my text box on the right side of my screen right at this particular position and what we are going to do now is we are going to use the movement object to move this particular text from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. So double click on the text object and now go to add object, go to movement, click on movement and now click on OK. Now move your text from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen like this so you need very st steady hands while placing the text box perfect perfect all right so let me just once again zoom in my screen Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So first my sprite object kind of fades in and then the text kind of scrolls from the right side of the screen towards the left side of the screen. And after the scrolling completes, my sprite object fades out towards the end. perfect so once again let me just quickly play the video for you so this is how you can create a horizontal text scroll effect in bscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching